Hello everyone and welcome to the Music Room. The Music Room is one of my favourite rooms at Stowe. It's the work of a single artist called Vincenzo Valdre. Valdre was working in England in the 1780s and he came to Stowe and he was put to work all over the place. But this, I think, is his masterpiece. He was commissioned by the Marchioness of Buckingham, whose portrait I'm going to show you in a minute. The Marchioness was an accomplished musician. She played the piano, the harpsichord, she composed songs. And the room has this wonderful acoustic. You can hear it's quite bouncy, but if you like Baroque music, you will not hear music with an acoustic better than this room. It really is amazing. But it does give you an illustration of the man's personality, which I think you can see completely exemplified in some of these beautiful frescoes that I'm going to talk about now. Now, I want to introduce you to Mary Nugent, who was the Marchioness of Buckingham. The eye is supposed to travel up. This is supposed to represent the Pompeian style. It represents the sort of painting that was going on, mimicking the paintings that had been discovered in Pompeii, the city that had been obliterated by Vesuvius. And it's this sense of exuberance, the celebration of all five senses that makes Valdre stand out as one of the truly great 18th century artists. Now, Valdre wasn't just a painter of pretty frescoes. Like many painters of the 18th century, he wanted to tell a story. And hidden in the ceiling panels is a, a really interesting allegory, which I think speaks to us today. Let's take a look by turning our gaze to the first painting. And you can see Bacchus is drawn in a chariot by two panthers. And he's surrounded by his Bacchanalian attendants who are, are having a feast. The whole painting is supposed to celebrate all the good things in life. Bacchus, after all, is the god, the god of wine. So it's drink and be merry. The next painting is a copy by Valdre of an original painting by Guido Reni, and it's in the Villa Borghese in Rome. And the painting is an allegory of time. Painting a clock would be a bit prosaic, rather boring to look at. So instead, we have the four seasons. And we have the 12 horai, they're the 12 hours of the day, processing around with the goddess of daylight, Aurora, in the middle. And she is chasing out the, god of, the goddess of night. And in the centre, you have Aurora's brother, Apollo, who's not just the god of music, he's also the god of the sun. Let's look at the final panel by Valdre. It's called The Revels of Sardanapalus. Who was Sardanapalus? Well, he was the, the last ruler of Nineveh. Nineveh today is in Iraq and most of its historical monuments have been destroyed by Isis. But let's go back to 612 BC. Sardanapalus is, is looking rather rueful. He has neglected the defences of his city. In the distance, he can hear the noise and the drums of the enemy's armies gathering outside the citadel, ready to take it. In a last ditch effort, to cheer Sardanapalus up, who has squandered his opportunities. He has ruled in a rather debauched way. His concubine are trying to lift his spirits. They're presenting him with a cornucopia of fruit and wine. They're playing music, they're dancing, but none of this makes up for the fact that he has squandered his rule. Just as the triumphal frieze in the marble hall is a depiction of a Roman army coming home for the victory celebrations. But it's really all about Viscount Cobham coming back from having defeated Louis XIV. These pictures could, if you didn't know, 
exist in any 18th century house. But Valdre tells us very clearly that there is a genius of the place, the genius loci. This is Stowe. Look at this picture. Does it remind you of somewhere in the grounds? Unmistakably, it's Bacchus with his goblet of wine saying cheers. Welcome to Stowe. Here we are in the rotunda, in the very middle of the landscape gardens. You can't be anywhere but Stowe.